So um, we didn't actually talk about max or min. Um, so let me just go and get this so you guys can easily add this in at the end of your graph. Um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, again, the main important thing was we need to understand what are our transformations. So you guys can see we have an A, we have an H, and we have a K. The absolute value of A is less than 1. Therefore, there's a horizontal stretch of 1 half. We have the actual value of A is less than 0. So when A is less than 0 in your notes, that's a reflect over the x-axis. You guys don't need to do this, but when you guys have trouble with graphing, you need to make sure you can remember all of these transformations. So you, I would recommend writing them all down. Um, now we need to look at our vertex. So you can say here my h is equal to 4, which is a horizontal shift right 4. And my k is equal to negative 10, which is a vertical shift down 10. Anybody have any questions and stuff that I label? This is all just based off the notes that we wrote down last class period. So again, if you guys remember, basically what they're asking us to do is find the vertex. I don't know why I wrote that out. Vertex, which is h comma k, and our axis, which is x equals h. So in this case, we know that h is 4, because it's x minus h. So h is 4, k is 10. So I'll write my vertex is positive 4 comma negative 10. The axis symmetry is x equals h. So axis is x equals 4. Then they say to um, determine the minimum or the maximum value, domain range. I'll at least teach the domain range, but we'll go, we'll go over it more in depth um, later. So basically, does this graph, does this parabola open up like the last example, or is it opening down? Anybody? OK, it's a little bit early this morning. So if you guys remember, this is what the graph looks like without any transformations. right? It opens up. This is when a is greater than 0. Any number, it doesn't matter. Whatever a is, as long as it's positive, it's greater than 0. However, when we talk about a reflection, all that's doing is now reflecting the graph over the x-axis. That's when a is less than 0. So do we have a being less than 0? Yes, it's negative. So therefore, the graph opens down. You guys can see that the vertex is still based on h and k. But if a is less than 0, the graph opens down. So as my vertex, you guys can see for the black graph, the vertex is the minimum point. right? It's the lowest, it's the lowest point on the graph. However, of the blue graph, the vertex is the maximum point. Do you guys see that? OK. So is this vertex for this equation, is that going to be a maximum or a minimum? Maximum. maximum. So you just write, it's a maximum value. So your vertex is your maximum value. So I'll just write in maximum. And then do domain, I'm going to do this. I'll do this quickly, but I'll, I'll explain it further. The domain is the set of all x values. That's going to be x values that make up the graph. As this graph goes up, you guys can see that it's continually expanding. So there is not an x value that you cannot plug in that would not be a part of this graph. So our domain is called all real numbers, or from negative infinity to infinity. Yes? Yeah, I'll, I'll explain domain and range here a lot more, because I, I know we'll need more practice for it. Um, range is going to be the set of all y values, basically how far up and down this graph goes. If you guys can see, this vertex is at 4, 10, or negative 10. Oh, wait, yes. 4, comma, negative 10. And it goes down. So the lowest that the graph goes down is the lowest it's going to go down is it doesn't stop going down. So we call that negative infinity. And the highest, that, the highest y value that the graph goes up is negative 10. We will spend more time explaining that, so don't worry about it. But that is what your range would be. 